Hey guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So here I am with the first new pen video of 2023, but this was coincidentally the last pen that I purchased in 2022 and it's just arriving today. Ooh, so let's unbox this beautiful pen. So I purchased this on, I believe it's December 23rd from on a whim woodworks as you can see by the box here and it was sent via ups on that date and it took quite a bit of time to get to me it was stuck in winnipeg for a good week and i think it was stuck actually somewhere in illinois as well for a few days but i am glad it is here so let's open this up first it's a little thank you card off from alan Beautiful. So that's Alan of On A Whim Woodworks and you can find him on Instagram. So but firstly, like how cool is that box? All right, let's zoom in first. All right. Oh, <laughs> I thought I thought that the pen would already be um, revealed, but oh, look at these. So you've got vinyls, On A Whim Woodworks. I love that. Perfect. And then where you can find Alan on Instagram and his email and website. So I love those, but then I love that it comes in a pen sleeve. All right, let's put those to the side and, oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So this is the Zephyr model in the Cool Tone Primary Manipulation by Carolina Pen Company. And can we just look at those beautiful swirls? I saw a picture of this on Alan's website and I had to ask, like, can you show me what this looks like? under natural light and within minutes he replied to me and he's like I'm standing outside in the rain here's a video and it was that video that was like I am sold but look at just the different swirls in here and like even just in there you could see like there's different depths to the swirl and there's a little bit of transparency and translucency in here Oh my gosh, look at that, even the cap. This is a Zephyr model. Oh my gosh, I cannot stop staring at the beautiful, beautiful blank. It's so smooth and it's just so glossy and there's something different. Every time I turn the pen, there is something different that I am seeing. I will be staring at this forever. Oh my gosh, so let's uncap that. Gosh, so it has a steel nib. It's a Bach nib and I asked for a medium. But I mean, look at even just the grip section. Look at that. And it comes with, I believe you can eyedropper this, but it comes with a Schmidt converter. Very cool, it looks like it was already cleaned out. And oh my gosh. But yeah, so you've got the medium Bach steel nib there. And I wanna see how many turns it takes to uncap. So one, like one and three quarters. That's not too bad. And then how does it feel? in the hand it is a nice big pen it feels really really good in the hand and oh my gosh i'm going to compare this to some other pens in my collection so let's do a size comparison so there is the on a whim woodworks pen let's compare it to some other pens here that you might know so the sailor pro gear and then i've got my pelican m400 Pelican M600, and then the 
Twisby Diamond 580. And what else can I compare it to? Here we go. And the Narwhal Nautilus. I also want to compare it to a smaller pen. Somebody asked me to compare it to a Pilot Kakuno. So that is what the size is compared to the Kakuno, Sailor Pro Gear, M400, M605, and the Narwhal. So there it is, unposted or uncapped next to the Twisby Diamond 580, the Pilot Kakuno, Sailor Pro Gear, M400, M605, and the Narwhal Nautilus. You can see that it is actually pretty comparable to the Kakuno and the Diamond 580 when unposted or uncapped. And actually, I'm thinking it's actually pretty similar in size to the uh, Nautilus as well. But you can also see the difference in the nib sizes here too. Ooh, there's still sparkle and oh, I realize I'm still using that pen. So then let's do a, a weight measurement. So posted or capped, it is 23 grams and then uncapped, stay, stay, it is 18 grams. So the cap itself is about five grams. All right, so I've just inked that up with Pilot Eroshizuku Sukiyo. That is my tiny sample that has a little bit left, but I did have a full bottle of that. And this is the one that I try to uh, test all of my new pens with. So I've already written what pen it is, but for the writing test, uh, what am I gonna write? <laughs> Ooh, that is smooth. And this is a steel buck medium nib. And oh my goodness, is that ever smooth? Very smooth nib. very wet and I didn't just dip de uh, test this either I actually did fill the converter just a little bit there very smooth very wet and it is a stiff nib so not too much to give there not much line variation and how is it with reverse writing you can get away with it but it is a little bit scratchy I wouldn't want to do that but Beautiful. So I'm just going to actually write down that I received this uh, January 10. And this is inked with Pilot Hiroshizuku Sukio. And so let's do some faster. Well, the click. The easy dog. Now it's your typical Bach nib. It writes beautifully, actually. And I am in love with that absolutely in love with that. My plan is though with this Bach nib, I'm probably gonna get it sent off to a nibmeister to get that ground into either an architect or a cursive italic. I haven't decided yet, but oh, so nice. So, so nice. So my first impressions of this Zephyr model in the Cool Tone primary manipulation, I love it absolutely love it i love the way the pen feels in my hand i'm you could try no it is definitely not postable but i then i don't really post my pens unless it is a smaller pen like the prera or the sailor pro gear slim but as you can tell by my hand here it fits perfectly well in my hand unposted i love the size of the grip section if you look at the size of the grip section it is a little bit wider let me see if i can get a measurement of that 
The grip section looks like it's anywhere from 10 to 11 millimeters, which is actually just the right happy spot for me. I think anything less than 10 millimeters as the grip section diameter is going to be too narrow for me, but this is absolutely perfect. So thank you so much to Alan of On A Whim Woodworks for this beautiful pen, the last pen of 2022. And I'm just in awe of the beautiful resin, those swirls, and the fact that I could probably match this to any ink that is in that swirl. What 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 got me with this particular one is that just the it's the perfect mix of the blues and the pinks and the white and the purple. And like I love that, just even that little detail of that little one there. And the thing with these blanks or these handmade blanks is that you know, it, it really, it's hard to say what the pen is going to look like just by looking at the blank because it can change millimeter by millimeter, but I love that like the, it almost matches up and it's just such a pretty, pretty pen. Oh, all right. But that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Stop rolling. Stop rolling. <laughs> uh, again, Thank you guys so much for watching and have yourselves a great day.